A touch on the 50 Cent? We can touch on the 50 Cent really quick. Taking shots at Jay-Z? Yeah, yeah. 50 Cent taking shots at Hove. And 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 I like the way 50 does this because 50 knows that Hove can't put in no calls to get him pushed out of nothing. He can't even get him to not perform at the Super Bowl halftime show, which mm. obviously he didn't want him to do, and he did anyway. Oh, that's what it stems for. I forgot what it stems for. He didn't want – but somebody told me – I think I seen this on uh, Star Show. Yeah, but I heard that he's trying to get in Jay Z getting in Showtime. So you know, Fifty Cent really brought that whole cable TV prime time, you no know, premium cable TV shit to life with Star because nobody wasn't listening to Stars. No, that's until a fact. He got over nobody there. was. So I feel like Jay Z going over to Showtime. That's kind of like stepping on his. Territory a little bit, man. Honestly, Jay Z would beat Fifty in the verses. Ooh, ooh. Fifty's catalog ain't ain't long enough to go against Hove. I don't know. Fifty Cent can play the whole Get Rich or Die trying. Man, that ain't gonna beat Hove. Hove can play Reasonable Doubt, and that's gonna beat Get Rich or Die trying. Mm. Ooh, yeah, I would get that because Hove got more solid projects than Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent had a Amazing run, but he don't got no many class. He only got one classic album. Exactly. Now he got Fifty Cent in the Future. I like that mixtape. Um, before he hopped on, he got a couple good songs, got a couple good tracks. But we we're not gonna sit here and act like um, Fifty Cent has just some vast, crazy ass catalog and shit, and niggas mm. is fucking with it. Like, let's stop it, man. Let's let's stop it. Let's stop it. Let's stop the cap. You unsubscribing? What Tell I do? Me, what did Jay do? Oh yeah. What? Wait. What, what did Fifty said? What? Oh yeah. 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 We're gonna play the fifty part. We're gonna play the oh. fifty part. Let's play the fifty part because that's what you want to hear. That's when I start saying crazy stuff because I start looking. I go, oh, that should be normal, right? So, so you, you, the image itself after a gay painter. The big okay. homie want to look like a gay painter. That shit's hilarious. hilarious. We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Oh my God, I think I know where we're going. So we're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Oh, no, That's when I start Jay-Z. saying crazy stuff. Because well, I no, Jay-Z, girl. Uh, right? so, so you, you, you image yourself out of a gay painter. Big homie want to look like a gay painter. Big homie want to look like a gay painter. Big homie wants to look like a gay painter, man. I don't know, big homie. Oh, she mad at me because I said Reasonable Doubt would beat 50 Cent's catalog in yeah, person. Listen. Uh, yeah, you right. I just, I mean, 50 Cent, I don't know because 50 Cent got some hits. We Versus ain't about the album, though. We talk about hit for hit. I think, I don't know. I just think, to be honest, 50 Cent's the only person that Jay-Z couldn't really get about the paint. And Jay-Z is going to remind, I mean, 50 Cent is going to remind Jay-Z of that every time. I can poke fun at you. I can say what I want. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't get me out. You can't call, um, you know, you, can, you can't call Dr. Dre or Eminem to do nothing. Mm. You can't call Interscope to do nothing. Mm. And if we were going to talk about it, worldwide, 50 Cent might be bigger than Jay-Z. In America, Jay-Z is probably bigger than 50 Cent, but I think worldwide, 50 Cent is bigger than Jay-Z. That's what I'm telling That's what I was saying before the show, because he got that Eminem pocket. I feel like Eminem got a bigger fan base than Beyonce. Did you know they dropped the top 10 most viewed artists on list on YouTube? No, 50, I didn't see 50 Cent was like, oh, yeah, yeah, he was like yeah, he was like, he was like, why am I still on this and I ain't dropping can we, a record? Can we pull that up? Yeah, yeah, we can. We got all the time in the world. What's up? That was, that was crazy that. when he said that, too. He was like, bro, if I was one of these new rappers, I'd be mad as hell. How am I still out streaming you niggas? And I ain't dropped nothing in years. Mm, Which is that goes to show you how big 50 Cent, because Jay Z still dropping currently. Yeah. That was a great point he said, though. For sure, for sure. Oh, here you go. So you got Eminem is number one. That's the cloth that Fifty's cut from. Okay. Did you got Doja Cat Drake? Did you got Fifty Cent number bottom at the um, 
number 10 at the bottom. You don't got Jay-Z or Beyonce in none of this. Nope. That's why I'm saying without without Beyonce and Kanye West, Jay-Z musically would have been done when? After the Black Album? After Blueprint. Because Kanye, came Kanye Blueprint. did the whole Blueprint 3. So if you... So if you want to keep it a buck, I'm not like I didn't do all the blueprint three. Blueprint. He did most of blueprint three. He executive nah, produced it. I know he executive produced, but blueprint, blueprint three. three. Timberland got some uh tracks on that. Pharrell got some tracks on there. I know uh Swiss Beats definitely like Swiss Beats did on to the next one. So I know for a fact, like it was a few. I know Guru got some tracks. No ID got I think No ID did um uh what was that song? I think Forever Young. But didn't Kanye um oversee the whole project? I don't even know if he overseen the whole project. I know he fucking probably kicked a couple beats and contributed, but I think the most overseen Kanye had over a project with Ho was probably Watch the Throne. I don't even think Ho would even give Kanye like that even level of authority to fucking you know what I'm saying? To mm-hmm. like do that. Like, hey, yo, yo, you got the whole Kanye West also executive producer on Blueprint 3. Yeah, but he didn't produce the whole thing. He has a whole list of niggas. No, but everybody, only Jay-Z and Kanye um, listed as executives. Okay, yeah, executives. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, no ID. Uh, like you say, Switch Breed, J-Rod, Timbaland, they are Neptune. But Kanye oversee the whole, overseeing the whole project. Yeah, no, nah, Ye didn't do the Black Album, but he he definitely probably did some of the best tracks. Like, Encore to me is like the best song on the Black Album. Is that Kanye? That's Kanye. And that should have been the, and Kanye said that should have been the uh, leading single of the Black Album, which it really should have been. Instead, Jay Z's goofy ass one would change clothes. Mm, yeah. And, but you know what? Change clothes is low key weak. Like, change clothes is weak. If you didn't, if you didn't drop change clothes as a single, nobody would ever remember that song. And you got to think too, 50 Cent was signed to producers. So he wasn't finna step outside his producers for other tracks like Jay Z could. I don't think. Cause Eminem was making beats back then. Yeah, but that's that's a good kind of question because I don't really remember a lot of um, Fifty Cent and the Neptunes. Yeah, I don't, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I don't remember a lot of like big collabs with Fifty as far as producer wise. That's why I say most of that stuff was done by Shy Money and um Dre, my like in house type shit. Yeah. Oh, that's a good narrative. That's a good point. So by him going with Kanye and Rihanna and Beyonce, he was able to transition into the new school in the new sound and shit. Yeah, then you then he got DJ Cali riding his tip. You know what I mean? So that keeping him fresh. Don't do you think that same thing applies to Drake? Ooh, no, Drake, 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 Drake is just keeping his steam up on his own. Drake just got a Drake just doing whatever he can to keep that steam. Um, Afro beat, house music, trap music. Yeah, yeah. That nigga, that nigga did a whole European accent. See, nobody ain't do it like Drake. Hey, Drake, I'd rather about the bond and the dean and on ding dong. Yeah, he Drake, Drake could change his accent to fit in. He don't care. Well, I will say this to, to close out this conversation. Salute to 50 Cent for uh, always trolling Jay-Z and kicking Jay-Z's back and in as Puffy. he should. And Puffy. Yeah, exactly. And they know they can't fight him. They can't beat him up. They can't shoot him. Like, There's nothing you can do to 50 Cent to hurt 50 Cent. His money isn't even mixed with you guys' money or nothing. That. And they say he's a better presenter. You know what I'm saying? 50 Cent is a better performer. 50 Cent can't. Hey, one thing about 50 Cent and Jay-Z, they both can't dress. We could both say that. I'd rather really dress like 50 Cent. No, 50 Cent still nah, you can't right. dress. Nah, you're right. I'd rather really dress like Hov. I'd rather dress like Hov Because at least Hov be wearing. Now. You know why? Because 50 really just, 50 don't be wearing no designer. Yeah, 50 Cent be wearing like he be wearing his old shit. <laughs> From back in yo, the day, yo. he like he wearing old shit. People gave him. He just getting to what that box of clothes. You know what's the funniest <laughs> thing now? The fact that he said that nigga is trying to make himself look like a gay painter. No, no, no it just makes that whole Basquiat flow Jay Z's been on the last few years just look goofy as hell now. I know. Like you an old ass man trying to be a gay painter. I know. If you like the art, you like the art. But he is right. Like yo. 
you trying to look like the man. That's kind of weird. Yeah, that's a you whole, too old to be looking like somebody. That's a fact. But he might just want the dread because he got a young wife. He might be trying to just get on young nigga time. Nah. Nah. It's too late for that. You should have. <laughs> I thought you started everything. I thought you don't get on trends. Mm. Why are you copying trends? Why are you trying to like me and J Doug right now? Mm. We grew this. We didn't. We didn't get no goddamn bosky out weave and sew it in. Old ass niggas can't even grow their hair out like that. I know he grew that shit hella fast. Jay Z ain't never even had hair for real. That nigga just hopped out with that shit. Salute Shaq here. Tell him to cut that goofy ass shit off. Trying to like a gay painter, man. I salute Jay Z because it changed up his look. I don't know how Jay Z will look with that with a low cut, right? Now he'll look. He'll look his age like an old ass nigga yeah. with a with a hat on. Guess he didn't want to go for the old nigga hat look, huh? Yeah, well, 50, but salute the fifty. Man, salute the fifty cent, man, for for put for terrorizing these old niggas once again, bro. As you should, as you should. So we are going to go ahead and wrap up tonight's show, Perspective Facts Podcast, episode forty seven. It was a great show. We got in here, hit that like button, make the like reflect, uh, make likes. Reflect the viewers, man. And uh, this is also show we, we talked about a few things, touched on a few topics. You know what I'm saying? It was really a slow uh, news weekend, to be honest. Not a lot of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a lot of, uh, you know, earth shattering news, bombshell news. Not a lot of shit popped off for real, dog. Just some, you know what I'm saying? Just some light work. Just some light work. But at the end of the day, we still have to cover it. And at the end of the day, even if nothing happens, we will still be here. On Mondays and Thursdays, Mondays and Thursday nights, we will be here. Pull up. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for coming up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the live chat, salute everybody in the live chat once again. Uh, blowing this motherfucker up. Salute everybody donating to the cash shop. Dollar sign, Florida Boy J. You know what I'm saying? We really appreciate that. Um, once again, if you want to get in the community section, hit me up. We will go ahead and make that banner via J. Doug. We're going to uh, shoot him his cash app. And get your flyer and get your banner in the community section and, you know, get it popped off like that. Yeah, we're going to get that community section jumping. Um, yeah, just let me know you want to get up in the community section on the Florida Boy J page and we'll get you popping. Absolutely. 